Good morning, everyone. Merry Christmas. I hope you are having a wonderful Christmas with your family and friends and your loved ones. I hope you got everything on your Christmas list and I hope that you can just finally take this day and relax and let all the stress of the holidays melt away because that is my plan for today. We have reached the end of vlog mess and I did my best to post a video every single day, but today I wanted to share with you what I got for Christmas. And starting off with some beautiful new jewelry from Idol. This video is very generously sponsored by Idol. I wear at least one piece of Idol jewelry every single day. I have on today the Evil Eye necklace and the matching Evil Eye earrings and the Lucia cuff. I love that Idol jewelry is 100% sustainable because they use lab-grown diamonds, so they're conflict-free, their 14 karat gold is ethically sourced, and my favorite part is that their jewelry is modular, so a lot of their earring add-ons can be converted into a necklace and vice versa. It just makes it so easy to mix and match, especially when you're traveling. You don't have to carry a ton of different pieces because they can all just pair so well together. All of their orders are beautifully packaged, so they are ready to gift, and a lot of the orders come with different little add-ons and gifts. I've shared a few different gifts that they've offered throughout the years and the gifts change frequently so make sure you follow them and sign up for their newsletter. They also offer a few different promos throughout the year and I also share the different promos so make sure you follow me on Instagram at Heated Mess. This is one of their travel pouches. I have a few of these. I usually keep jewelry in one and then I keep a few others just to organize my travel bags. This is a smaller zip travel pouch and this is perfect because it is very compact and I still have some jewelry from my last trip in here. Here are two other earrings from Idol. These I believe are the Romy add-ons with the medium studs and then a pair of the Luna hoops. For the holidays, my recent Idol order came with a few additional bonus gifts. We have here an Idol notebook. I just love notebooks. I like that this is completely blank. It doesn't even have lines. So this is also great for sketching. This order came packaged in a different little travel pouch with magnetic snaps at the top and all the orders come packaged in a very cute little book and this is empty because I've already put it in the second gift that my order came in which was this deluxe luxury travel organizer. This could be a desktop or vanity jewelry case organizer but if you travel with a lot of jewelry or if you have really bulky jewelry I actually plan to travel with this. I love this case. It has idle on the front there and then it zips around and I've already put my new jewelry in here. The top has multiple necklace loops that snap closed and then they kind of store in this pouch here. You have this divider to separate and organize and to keep all the jewelry inside secure. And so for my recent order for Christmas, I got their brand new Ava pear necklace and I got it on the yellow gold chain. I actually have a lot of their jewelry in rose gold, but I love to mix and match my metals. So I think this would just be perfect for stacking. And then for the earrings, I have their large yellow gold studs with the brand new Leah pear shape add-ons to match the necklace. So here on top, I have my new Ava pear necklace in yellow gold, and I have it stacked here with my Layla evil eye necklace in rose gold. So I love how the two colors kind of complement each other. They're not too different. And again, I love to mix my metals anyway, so I think it just goes so well together. And then for my ear stack, I have the evil eye necklace with the Lucia cuff, and then my new Leah pear shaped add-on with the large stud. I'm so excited about my new Idol jewelry. I can't wait to stack these new pieces and travel with my new Idol travel organizer. Okay, speaking of travel and organizing, I mentioned in my Christmas wish list video, check that out if you haven't watched it already. I actually already got a few things from that wish list that were part of my birthday gifts because I do have a December birthday. But I mentioned that I do plan on traveling a lot next year. We have some trips coming up. Base Travel is one of my favorite travel brands and I already shared the new base compression packing cubes. I got a set of six. I was so excited. I love packing cubes for travel and I especially love compression packing cubes, especially like if you're traveling with bulky items like in the winter, they just make traveling a lot easier. So I already picked up the compression packing cubes set of six in beige and then I was debating whether to get their other set of in-flight cosmetic cases and I was like whatever I just got it so I've already shared this this is the on the go essentials case I bring this on every single trip this is what I have with me on my carry-on like my personal item bag on the plane especially for long-haul flights we have a few long-haul flights next year I'm planning on going back to the Philippines. That in itself is like um, it's a trek it takes a long time to get there I will be traveling for something like 30 something hours 
or more actually from door to door. So I have to have my base essentials case on me. They came out with a new set and it's a little different. This is called the in-flight cosmetic case. So this is a larger one and then it comes with a second one inside, but this is the inside of the first set. It's clear, which I love. So then it's TSA approved. I love clear organizers because I need to be able to see what's inside like immediately, but you have the larger one. And then the set that's similar to this, which I don't, I hope they still make this. This is my favorite because it has two compartments. You have the let's go compartment for when you're traveling and then the we're here. So for the let's go, this is where I keep like my skincare, like freshening up toiletries and stuff. And then in the we're here compartment, this is where I have my makeup. So they came out with a new cosmetic travel case duo. This is the larger one. And then this is the smaller one. They're both just one compartment, but I like that the smaller one, just like the on the go essentials case also has a mirror and it's also clear on both sides. And the material is different, which I like. This is more of a wipeable nylon material versus I guess this is what they call a, a vegan leather, which is like a cactus leather pleather. It's almost like more rubbery, but then the material gets a little dirty. So this has seen somewhere. I've traveled all over the world with this, so it's a little scuffed. It's gotten some use. And I think this one will be easier to clean maybe and won't, won't show as much wear, but I'm very excited about this and my packing cube. So definitely recommend all of their travel bags and accessories. I have their weekender. I have their mini weekender. I have their roller luggage. I have their duffel bags. I have their carry on roller bag. I have their checked roller bag. I just love almost every single thing that they put out, but I'm very excited to travel with my new base accessories. This next Christmas present came from my husband and I actually mentioned it in my Christmas wish list video, but I was really looking forward to this because again, we are traveling like next year. We have a few island trips coming up, some islands we have never traveled to, and I really wanna get some great aerial landscape photography and video. So I asked and he got me this drone. <laughs> this is the DJI Mini 3. It is a portable drone with a built-in remote that has the screen on it because there are different versions. There are cheaper versions you could get. I mean, there are really cheap versions you can get that don't take as good quality as this specifically. Once I went down the rabbit hole of researching drones, there's this one travel vlogger that I follow, Nicole Sunderland. I just love all her pictures, her videos. She specifically recommended this one. And then when I, look, when I looked at reviews for this, they were saying, you know, it's just easier to get this. They have a different one where the remote doesn't have a screen and you can actually connect a smartphone to it so that you can view, you know, what the drone is viewing through that. But I just wanted it built in even though it was a little more money. But I'm so excited about this because compared to other similar, you know, priced and similar sized drones, this is by far the smallest and it's the quietest. So I didn't mind paying a little more just for that like ease and convenience because again, I do plan on traveling and size and bulkiness is a big deterrent, you know, when I'm de deciding what camera to bring and what camera to use. But I am so excited about this. This is a little delicate from what I hear. So I have to be very careful, <laughs> but I think I can let my son test it out. We'll do some practice runs here at home. And then I'm excited to getting some great footage with my new drone. The next thing on my list that I haven't gotten yet, so I'll add that to my wish list for next year, but I do wanna get a GoPro waterproof, like underwater camera, because I do plan on snorkeling, maybe getting some scuba dive trips in. I haven't gone diving in a while. I'm a certified scuba diver, but it's just harder. Snorkeling is just easier. It's just easier for me. If I need go on a scuba dive trip, I need to do like a refresher course, but I wanna get some great underwater footage but I'm very excited about my drone that I got for Christmas. Super excited to get some great landscape aerial photography and videography for our upcoming trips. And then a couple gifts from stores that I thought were very thoughtful during the holidays from Farfetch because I'm, I think it's called a platinum client. They sent a holiday gift. Oh, it's called private client. That's like their highest tier, I guess, of shopping. <laughs> but I got this gift set and it's a notebook and a Bang & Olufsen Bluetooth speaker. I love notebooks. I don't know if you guys know this, but I love notebooks. This is from the brand Smithson of Bond Street. It's a leather bound notebook. It says everything I want at Farfetch. Oh, the Panama hat of books. Okay. Very nice. I love the blue tint. I love notebooks for planning. I like to write things down. I like the 
the feel of the paper. <laughs> so this is very cute. I definitely plan on using this throughout the year. And then we have this Bang & Olive Sin Bluetooth Bayo Sound A1 Bluetooth speaker, second generation. It's a superior sound, waterproof, voice assistant black speaker there and then you have a it looks like a little leather cord thing this would be a perfect gift for my 13 year old son so i will be gifting this to him and i know he will definitely enjoy it hopefully it'll connect to his ipad and then i'm sure he will only use this to play classical music while he's studying and doing his homework so this was a very nice very thoughtful gift from Farfetch. And then from Nordstrom, I attended their Icon holiday party earlier this month. I brought my three boys. We had a ton of fun. There was Santa, there were pictures, they had cookie decorating, they had a lot of delicious food. And I walked away with my Icon gift. So the Icon gift was in this very large bag. It says the Nordy Club on the other side, Nordstrom. And I think I did a separate video. So check that video out where, when I attended the Icon party, but this was the Icon gift this year. So you open it up inside here is a card to like, it's a dining credit. So a $50 dining credit at, this, at their restaurant. And then in here, it's just a very lovely assortment of my favorites, like charcuterie stuff. So we have, I think I show more close-ups in that video, but we have fig cheese, mixed nuts, olives, Sugarfina, like candies, crackers, butter crackers, a little little stirrer set. This box here had a set of cheese knives. We have a set of napkins. And then in here is a very nice wood cutting board, like charcuterie board. I love this. I love charcuterie. I love olives. I love nuts. I love cheese. This is everything I could hope for. I'm very excited about this set. In one of my earlier videos, I mentioned the icon party and picking up the icon gift. So I didn't know what it was yet, but someone mentioned that they just attended and this year's icon gift is their best yet. While I was at Nordstrom, I picked up a few fragrances because it was like 15 times the points on beauty. I got another Prada Paradox and I especially love this one because there was an event where they were able to engrave my name. And then she had a very cute little gift with purchase. It's a little Prada bolo tie that goes around the perfume bottle and then a little Prada ornament. This was from my lovely Nordstrom stylist, Marae. I'll include her information below. I also picked up the new YSL Lieb Absolute Platine. This is their newest flanker. This was in my uh, fragrance, like most complimented fragrances because I love all of the Lieb perfumes. And this is the newest one and I hadn't picked it up yet. So I got it now and I just love the bottle. I love that it has the same YSL gold logo wrapped around, but this version is silver. This smells a little sweeter, a little warmer than the original YSL Lieb, but now I have pretty much all the flankers. I just love this entire collection. And then they had another custom fragrance engraving painting event in store. So I ordered two more. They're on the way to me now, so I don't have them here to show you, but I can show you pictures. I got the Delina body oil. I love all the different Delina fragrances. I love the ancillaries. I have the like body cream and the shower gel, but I don't have the body oil. So hopefully this will help it last longer, but I have my name engraved and then the little paintings along the side. And then another one of my favorite classic fragrances, I got a new Bobbi Brown Beach perfume. And this one has a very pretty wave design because it's like a very aquatic, fresh scent. So that will be shipped and it should be on its way to me right now. And then for my husband, I gifted him a Ralph Lauren fragrance. And at Ulta at the time, they had these two gifts with any Ralph Lauren's fragrance purchase. One was like a Ralph Lauren duffel bag. So I gave that to him. But then they also had with the purchase of a men's fragrance, this super cute Ralph Lauren romance little teddy bear. Isn't that so cute? It's wearing a little pink Ralph Lauren sweater. So I gifted him the Ralph Lauren fragrance and I am keeping the teddy bear for myself. It actually will go along with, I have a teddy bear that's back there that my kids got me. It says number one mom. So this can be its little buddy. So very cute Ralph Lauren teddy bear gift with purchase. I always post whenever there is a great gift with purchase. Ulta has a lot of good ones. A lot of times Macy's will have some really good ones. So again, if you love gifts with purchase like I do, make sure you subscribe here on YouTube and follow me on Instagram because I will update on my community tab here on YouTube and my Instagram stories whenever there is like a really good gift with purchase like this little teddy bear. Oh, and then another Christmas gift I got that I can't show because I haven't done it yet. For my birthday earlier this month, my mother-in-law gifted me a gift card to a spa. So I scheduled an appointment for a massage. I'm very excited. That was also on my wish list was trying to get regular facials and maybe a massage every so often just as a 
you know, routine self-care throughout the year. And I think I showed this already, but I have to include it here because I consider it part of my Christmas gifts this year. This little gift from Chanel Beauty showed up at my door. I already filmed a, a reel of this on my Instagram, but it, it's their new snow globe this year. I just love their snow globes. This year, I love their new design in particular it is the oversized gold CC logo with all the gift wrap presents and shopping bag all around it. I just love this. I, I've shown the other two snow globes. I've compared the two. I did a whole video how to get these snow globes. Again, it just really depends on where you shop and how much you shop, how much you buy. A lot of times, even your sales advisor doesn't know like who gets these. It all depends on corporate and like Chanel headquarters. But sometimes you get these. Sometimes you might get one of the other gifts for VIP clients, like they've done Chanel ornaments and like little notebooks and stuff. But I'm very excited about my new snow globe this year. And speaking of Chanel, I got two pairs of Chanel shoes because Nordstrom had this amazing promo where if you spend $3,000 on select designer items, you'll get a $1,200 Nordstrom note, which basically I'm getting one of these for free. So I just, I'll just show you what I got. This first pair I am so excited about and it's almost kind of divisive in the luxury community because I think they're cute, but it's a matter of very particular taste. <laughs> but I got a pair of their dad sandals in their classic black with the gold logo. Like, I just love the look of these. I love how it's styled. It's super casual. They're very comfy. I've tried the like dupes alternatives type of similar dad sandals from, I think I got it from Zara and it felt like I was walking on samurai swords. It was so uncomfortable. It was like this hard, awful plastic. It just was terrible, but I like the look, like I love the vibe. So I was like, you know, I just need to go ahead and get it, especially during this promo where I'm gonna be earning another $1,200 back. So I figured I would get it now, but they are very cute. I did go a size up and almost like a full size up because I only because they couldn't get the 36 and a half. I usually wear a 36 and I normally would have gotten the 36 and a half, but they didn't have it. So I was like, you know, it's fine. I'll get the 37. And I actually don't mind because even though I probably could have gotten away with the 36, this is just a lot more comfy. My uh, toes fit really well inside the little well here. So I think they're so cute. I can't wait to wear this this summer. Again, we are traveling a lot to very warm tropical climates. So I'm very excited to wear my dad's on those. But what do you guys think? Some people aren't into these and that's okay. I am but I think they're so cute. And then another pair of very casual Chanel shoes. I got these super, super cute, almost like skater shoes, right? Don't these look like, is it Vans? They're very flat and these are so comfy. I own another pair of Chanel sneakers that, do they have laces? They might have laces, but they're very like fitted on top. It's that kind of like almost crochet, very stretchy fabric, almost like a Nike Phantom running sneakers. Sometimes they're just maybe a little too tight. These are so comfy. This I got in a 36 and a half, so I sized a half size up, but you can see how like much wider they are. And that's just, that's just the look. They're very casual. You have the gray CC, and I think the material is like this really soft suede. And then you have the gray here. These are so, so comfy. I can't wait to wear these. It says Chanel on the little tongue there. And then I just noticed the bottom has the little CC <laughs> logo. I just love these. I love the neutral colors. These came in a ton of different colors, like pink, yellow, some really cute summer colors, but I like that this is nice and neutral. I anticipate this being one of my new travel shoes this year. Here's the little code for the sneakers. The price on these sneakers are $12.50. And then for the dad sandals, I really regret not getting it way earlier. When I was first thinking about it, I waited I guess a couple years at this point. Now they are 18.25. So pretty pricey, especially for the sandals. But again, it's all leather and I do anticipate wearing it a lot and getting a lot of use out of both the sandals and the sneakers because they're flat, they're very wearable, very comfortable. And again, because I spent 3000, I then now qualify for the $1200 Nordstrom note, which I should be getting 
next month. And again, speaking of amazing promos at Nordstrom. In one of my recent videos, I shared the Nordstrom designer clearance sale. I ended up getting so many designer goods for 40% off. There were some things that were 70% off. It included Tom Ford, Balmain, Bottega. There were so many amazing deals. I already shared this Bottega bag that I got on sale in this beautiful iridescent, like metallic-y soft leather. This is the mini pouch. I got this on sale. I think the original retail price for this was around 25 or 2600. I got this for 1603. This is the Valentino Rock Stud tote bag. This normally retails for 1850. And if you click the link now, the price has gone back. So some of the items, they went back to regular price, but there are still some clearance sale items. So I'll link some good ones that are still active. But this retails for $18.50. I was able to get it on sale for 40% off. So I got this for $11.10. And then I think I shared this in my birthday video, but I ended up getting three things from YSL because I just couldn't believe that they were 40% off. Those prices were just too good to pass up. But I got this. This is the YSL Monogram Pebbled Leather Envelope Card Case. This normally retails for $5.75. I got it for $3.45. So it has the YSL on the front it has a little slip pocket in the back you have another slip pocket here you have card slots here and then a zip interior compartment i love this i don't have any ysl wallets and i like that this is a lighter color because usually for wallets i prefer for it to be a lighter color it's just easier to find when it's in a bag but i love that i got it for 40 percent off and then because on top of the up to 70 percent off designer sale there was the 40 percent off some ysl items and in addition to that there was another promo for icon members where i think it was like nine points that we would earn per dollar instead of the usual two or three so i just couldn't pass those deals by i ended up getting two more things two bags from ysl because i don't own any and my other favorite thing about these bags from nordstrom from ysl are that they come direct from the warehouse these were completely wrapped in plastic like the whole box was wrapped in plastic so it's brand new these were not like display bags at all it's not like it was a clearance sale and they were just trying to get rid of stuff that was on the floor. These are brand new bags. So they all came with the individual box, all the authentication cards and papers. This still has the plastic on the chain. So for the first bag, I got the YSL Cassandra wallet on chain. I don't own any YSL wallet on chain. I have some from Chanel. I have some other YSL bags like the Lou camera bag. I have the Reeve Gauche tote that's up there, but I don't own any wallet on chain. So I ended up getting this. It's very, very sturdy, very durable leather. And I love the Cassandra style. It's a little different from the envelope wallet on chain where the leather is flat and straight against here, or like the Kate that has the little tassel dangly. I like that the logo is a little oversized, but it's so cool because look how it opens. It twists this way and then it pops open like that. So the logo kind of separates. And in here you have a very large compartment. It fits my phone. The plastic is still on the chain and the chain is like this distressed, like dirty bronzy gold. Very chic, very stylish. So for this YSL Cassandra wallet on chain, this normally retails for 1750. I got this on sale for 1050. So literally, less than the outlet prices. I've done a couple videos of the YSL outlet store at the Woodbury Common Premium Outlets, but it was about that price. I mean, I've paid, I have another, I forget the name of the bag, but anyway, check that video out. I still paid more at the outlet than brand new from Nordstrom. And then one more bag from YSL. This one is totally different from anything else in my collection, but this also came brand new, wrapped up from their warehouse. So like you have the authenticity cards and stuff, but this is the YSL Micro Hobo. This is called the YSL Lay 5 to 7, which is similar to that brand Syncacept. Micro Hobo bag is <laughs> so cute. I will admit that this is a lot smaller than I thought. I bought this kind, you know, not sight unseen, but you can't really tell sizing from pictures on the website. There was no like model picture, I guess, but this is it. It's open at the top. You have this little strap the bottom of the L hooks onto the thing to close and inside it is very tiny and it barely fits just my phone <laughs> so this, this is really like a, a, almost a phone holder but on a little shoulder bag I just think this is so cute the strap is just one solid piece that goes all the way around on both sides but it's a solid piece of leather 
all the way around a very cute little YSL phone holder, <laughs> but they call it the YSL Micro Hobo. This bag also retails normally for $17.50 and I got it on sale for 40% off. So I paid $1,050, same as the YSL Cassandra wallet on chain. So two very cute YSL sale finds from Nordstrom. All right, guys, that is everything that I got for Christmas this year. I know in my Christmas wish list, I said I wouldn't get a bag and I ended up getting three bags, but only because they were on sale and they were things that I know I could use. They each fit a place in my bag collection where I don't already own something similar, but I'm really excited about my Christmas gifts, especially the ones that I got on sale. But let me know what you guys got for Christmas and what you gifted for Christmas. I hope you all had a wonderful Christmas. Thank you so much for watching and I'll catch you in my next video. Bye.